okay on these short questions are based on your short story named the tunnel written by Ruskin Bond. And uh, all these questions uh, are important for the examination to be prepared for your study. The very first question is what were two straight black serpents? What were two straight black serpents? And the answer will be two straight black serpents were the railway lines, right? The railway lines they were looking just like two straight black serpents. So, in a very easy language you can answer this question like this taking the help from the language of your question that the two straight black serpents were the railway lines. Okay? Or you can answer like this also the railway lines were two straight black serpents which disappeared into the tunnel in the hill side. The second question is who did stand, who did stand waiting for the midday train? It was Suraj, right? Who? It was Suraj who stood waiting for the midday train. So, it was Suraj who stood where near the cutting waiting for the midday train. Next question is why had Suraj left the cycle near the village? Why had Suraj left his cycle near the village? Because, because now the answer Suraj rode a cycle and reached a small village. There he left the cycle. So, he might walk over a low scrub covered hill and down to the tunnel exit. Now, the answer may be in another way also that Suraj left the cycle near the village because so that oh because he might walk over a low scrub covered hill and down to the tunnel exit. So, he left the cycle. Next is who had heard in the distance the shrill whistle of the angel? Who had heard? It was Suraj. It was Suraj who had heard the shrill whistle of the angel in the distance. Suraj looked up and had heard in the distance the shrill whistle of the angel. Fifth one is why could he not see anything on scrub covered hill? Why? Why could he? He that is Suraj. Why could Suraj not see anything on scrub covered hill? He, Suraj, Suraj could not see anything on scrub covered hill because the train was approaching from the other side of the hill. Because the train was approaching from the other side of the hill. So, at the time of answering to any question, you have to try your best to take the language of the given question. It will be easier for you whatever is being asked, you have to take that particular language of the question and then within few words you have to answer into the easiest language. Sixth one is at what distance the tunnel grew pitch black? At what distance the tunnel grew pitch black? Now the tunnel, okay, you can start your answer 
from here the tunnel grew darker the tunnel grew darker as suraj walked further when he had gone he suraj when suraj had gone about 20 yards the tunnel grew pitch black so at what distance at 20 yards at that is 20 yards distance the tunnel grew pitch black so the the answer may be so simple that at what distance it was the distance 20 yards when the tunnel grew pitch black what was still full of smoke from the train what was what was is still full of smoke from the train the train it was steaming so now what was full it was the tunnel it was the tunnel which was full of smoke from the train it was the tunnel which was full of smoke from the train the answer will be sufficient and if you want to continue but it would be several hours before another train came through it otherwise the answer will be here only this two or three lines will be sufficient for your short answer next one is who was dazzled who was dazzled by the sudden glare who the answer of who it was suraj it was suraj who was dazzled by the sudden glare and then he has to put his hand up to shade the eyes as suraj came straight from the darkness into the light okay and generally it happens with all of us that we when whenever we come directly from the darkness into the light then we have to put our hand over our eyes so the eyes of suraj was dazzled by the sudden glare as suraj came straight from the darkness into the light he was dazzled by the sudden glare and put his hand up to shade the eyes next one is at about what distance at about what distance from the tunnel stood the watchman's hut at what distance from the tunnel okay distance from the tunnel there was the hut of the watchman and the distance was about 50 feet it was the distance 50 feet from the entrance to the tunnel and there stood the hut of the watchman at about 50 feet from the entrance to the tunnel there stood the watchman's hut tenth one is whose duty it was to inspect the tunnel and keep it clear of any obstacle whose duty it was okay whose duty was there to inspect or to see the tunnel and keep it clear whether there was any risk or not and the train can pass easily so whose duty it was the duty of the watchman the duty of sundar singh it was his duty to inspect the tunnel and keep it clear of any obstacle it was the watchman watchman sundar singh duty to inspect the tunnel and keep it clear of any obstacle 11th one is at night at night what was done by the watchman and the name of the watchman was sundar singh at night what was done by the watchman at night the watchman lit an oil lamp or he lighted a lantern and made a similar inspect inspection of the tunnel okay the watchman sundar singh he used to light a lantern at the time of the night and then he similarly to make an inspection 
or he used to inspect of the tunnel whether it was safe for a train or not to pass through it. So, it was the main duty of the watchman, main work of the watchman. Who was unable to stop the train if there was a porcupine on the line? Who was unable to stop the train? Of course, who was unable because it was the duty of the watchman. So, now he was full responsible and he was completely able to stop the train if he used to find any problem with the railway line. The watchman was unable to stop the train if there was a porcupine on the line. So, this was the watchman. What answer? What answer was given to Suraj by watchman when Suraj asked him whether it was his tunnel? What answer was given to Suraj by whom? By the watchman. The watchman replied to Suraj that the tunnel was his as no other person would have anything to do with that tunnel. He also because the full responsibility was of the watchman. So, he used to tell that the tunnel was his. He also told him that he had only lent it to government. What is the name of watchman? The name of the watchman is Sundar Singh. How many trains? How many trains run from the tunnel during the day? and during the night only two trains ok. Keep always this in your mind that the name of the watchman was Sundar Singh and there were only two trains, only two trains run from the tunnel. One train runs during the day and another during the night. One train during the day and another during the night only two trains run from the tunnel. At what time did the night mail train approach the tunnel? At what time did the night mail train approach the tunnel? The night mail train, the night mail train approached the tunnel about 9 o'clock. Okay, it was the time 9 o'clock. If it is not late, generally or usually the time was about 9 o'clock. Seventeenth one is who had yawned and stretched himself out on the cot. It was the watchman Sundar Singh who had yawned and stretched himself out on the cot. What did Suraj complain about sleeping in the afternoon? What did Suraj complain about sleeping in the afternoon? Suraj complained about sleeping in the afternoon that everyone used to go to sleep in afternoon. His father lied down as soon as he had his lunch. Animals also rested in the heat of the day and Suraj did not like this that is why that he is making a complaint about sleeping in the afternoon. Why had Sundar Singh placed banana leaf over his face? Sundar Singh placed a banana leaf over his face to keep away the flies, to keep away the flies and after that he soon started snoring gently. So, he placed banana leaf over his face only to get sleep. It had been, next one is, it had been a long hot day. But what happened in the evening? It had been a long hot day, but what happened in the evening? In the evening, nearer to dusk, the flying box swooped silently out of trees. Earth was cooling and a lovely breeze was moving through the trees which promised a good rainfall. That was the scenery, that was the scene at the time of the evening.
Sundar Singh, the watchman, was waiting for Suraj. What activities were done by him during this span of time? Sundar Singh was waiting for Suraj and he also watered his garden where flowers looked cool and fresh. A kettle was boiling on an oil stove and he was preparing tea at that time. Who did drink the tea and listen to notes of Taylor Bird and Seven Sisters? Who did, who did drink the tea? Of course, Surajan, Sundar Singh the watchman and listen to notes of Taylor Bird and Seven Sisters. Sundar Singh and Suraj drank tea and listened to the sharp notes of Taylor Bird and noisy chatter of Seven Sisters. They were enjoying, they both were enjoying each other's company and they both also enjoyed the melodious songs of Taylor Bird and Seven Sisters. Their Seven Sisters uh, actually is the name of a particular bird. There were some sounds that Suraj could not recognize. What was that sound? Oh, mention those sounds. There were some sounds that Suraj could not recognize. These sounds came from the trees, creakings and whisperings as though the trees were coming alive, stretching their limbs in the dark, shifting a little, reflexing their fingers. Which sounds made Sundar Singh stand alert for a few seconds? Which sounds made Sundar Singh stand alert for a few seconds? The sounds of a padded football, a rustle of dry leaves made him stand alert, made Sundar Singh alert for a few seconds peeping into the darkness. Why was it necessary to drive the leopard out of the tunnel? Why was it necessary to drive the leopard out of the tunnel? It was very necessary to drive the leopard out of the tunnel as if it was not driven out of the tunnel, it would be crushed over and killed. Okay? So, it was necessary to drive the leopard out of the tunnel, otherwise it would be killed and crushed over by the train that was coming out of the tunnel. Twenty-sixth one is, no, I am not going with you. It will be better than sitting here alone in the dark. Who spoke these words? So, these words were spoken by Suraj. No, I am going with you. It will be better than sitting here alone in the dark. What did Sundar Singh do raising his lamp high? Sundar Singh raised his lamp high and moved into the tunnel and shouted at the top of his voice to try and scare away the animal. The animal that was leopard only to save its life to protect it. So, Sundar Singh, what did he do? He raised his lamp, high lamp, lantern and moved into the tunnel and shouted at the top of his voice to try and scare away the animal. Describe the leopard which was crouching between the tracks 15 feet away from them. Describe the leopard. The leopard was crouching between the tracks only 15 feet away from them. The leopard was not a very big one, but it looked lith and sinewy. Snowy. It was looked lith and snowy. Whose voices rang through the tunnel to disappear the leopard into the dark? Whose voices rang through the tunnel to disappear the leopard into the dark. So, it was the voice of Sundar and Suraj Singh. Sundar Singh and Suraj, they both were shouting together why to protect the life of the leopard. Suraj and Sundar Singh shouted together 
so their voice ring through the tunnel which helped the leopard to save its life which disappeared the leopard into the dark so it all happened only because of the shouting of suraj and sundar singh and 31 is mention some sounds in the jungle that occurred in the story the tunnel rails were beginning to hum suraj heard the distant rumble of train engine was hissing at the moment and after that when train passed away the silence returned and the forest seemed to breathe to live again so there were the sounds of of the rail and rumble of train and churn and then the sounds of steaming and whistling of the train where was suraj and his father traveling for in the train for where for where they both were going they both were traveling they both were traveling to delhi right suraj he was going with his father where to delhi suraj and his father was traveling in the train as suraj's father was going to delhi on a business trip and had decided to take the boy with him so it was the decision of suraj's father to take him on the business trip and the last one is what emotion is created at the end of the story da the tunnel what kind of emotions what kind of emotions are created at the end of the story da tunnel the emotions are created by a mystery suspense the story ends on a parting note where suraj becomes emotional while traveling in train because he remembers he recollects all the memories that time when they both saved the life of the leopard and they passed their time together so he gets very emotional while traveling with his father in train to delhi and he remembers passionately his friend sundar singh the watchman with the lamp 